Rec Room just dropped their new update, and of course, let's get into it in today's video, but we're not just going to be talking about the Rec Room update, we're going to be talking about other Rec Room news as well. We have some new animations for full body avatars, and I'm pretty sure you've never seen some of these features before. But of course, before we get started in today's video, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys decided to use my code in-game. My code in-game is SK0L, or just my name, and it really does help me out. You guys basically just give me free money because I earn whatever you guys spend inside the game. Appreciate it lots, and of course, let's get inside today's video. Inside Rec Room right now, we have a new updated community board. Inside the featured rooms tab, you guys can see we have new featured rooms. Of course, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on them. And inside our Instagram tab, it is just my little monster stuff. We love to see it. It's just people with their cute little hatch things. It's awesome. To top that off, we have the behind the scenes of my little monsters, and we have an announcement about that. We have my pookie short. Oh, I love you, werewolf. And then we have this Requiem creator. Talking about this new Rec Room video, we actually got a little announcement talking about My Little Monsters behind the scenes. Check out our My Little Monsters BTS hub. My Little Monsters is out and the best part is, you will have all the tools to make a game like this tool. From replicators to pathfinders, we've introduced a lot of new features that will help make room creation easier for you. Dive behind the scenes with us with our new My Little Monsters BTS hub and read more about these tools and what were used in the Rec Room original. You guys can check out that dev blog that they have in Rec.net and they even have a YouTube video talking about it as well. I will note that inside that YouTube video, we actually see a few items in My Little Monsters that aren't actually inside My Little Monsters. Like a standy chicken, a few beds too, it's pretty cool. It was also revealed that some players have this new UI where they can basically change their avatar anywhere. It's basically inside the espresso menu and it replaces your watch, instead it's your avatar. It basically allows you to customize your avatar, actually insane, it's super cool, and of course if you guys have the split test, I envy you so much. And believe it or not, soccer is 8 people now! Yes, that's right, it can support 8 people now. You love to see it, a small little update to an old Rec Room original, and of course, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts. Now, in case you guys are interested, Rec Room players were talking about how the first round of UGC items might go inside of Rec Room. A player theorized that you might be able to reward players' clothing items for use while in the room, though, but they can't take it anywhere else, like out of that room. It sounded like that was how the first version of UGC items would work. These might be free, but if the player wants to take it onto other rooms, someone will have to pay, which is fine in my opinion, considering the game is free. A Rec Room staff member then confirmed this this, that how this is the first version of UGC clothing items would work. So interesting, and of course be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts. Now yes, that's right, yesterday was Monday and Rec Room usually releases updates on Monday, and they had a new update talking about the Full Body Beta Buddies edition. For their first patch note, they talk about Full Body Avatars, and say, your Full Body Avatar got some updates, and if you didn't know already, everyone has access to the beta! We tweaked it how it looks whenever you're carrying items like guns and swords, strafing was added when crouched or prone to remove that awkward backbreaking twist, some basic idle animations were put in to make you look super cool even when standing around, and we look forward to your full body I'm on screen mode VR dancing imitations. Now yes, that's right, full body avatars have received a major change, and there are a few animation improvements that are really notable. First starting off this idle animation, I have this clip playing here and I might just let it play for a little bit. On top of that, Requiem also has some few other animations like with jogging and stuff like that. This is the old one if you guys really want to compare, and this is the new jogging animation. They also added new animations for whenever you go side to side in full body avatars too. Your legs actually move like side to side now instead of twisting your entire body. It's pretty cool. So yeah, animations as a whole for full body avatars got changed. I'm sure I missed a bunch of stuff that had actually changed as well. So of course, be sure to let me know down inside the comments below. Continuing onwards, in Requiem's update, they have this Rooms 2.0 section, and they say replicators can now update their target object just by changing the hierarchy. Instead of the config menu, you can also set the target object just by using the connect tool to set an object as its child. They fixed an issue where certain inventions could cause room corruption in rooms 2, and lastly fixed a bug that prevented saving inventory items to rewards in rooms 2. They had a Rec Room Studio section just saying they fixed an issue with creating object boards for some props like Blender Bus and Laser Pistol when those objects are created in Rec Room Studio. And lastly, they fixed a bug with the inspector where changes to physics mode and basic interaction properties on objects were not applied. And lastly, for general improvements and bug fixes, errors logged through variable changed events will now highlight the correct chip when selected in the circuits log. As part of the experiment, some players will get a reminder that they can block and mute other players before slash after they report that player. Event receivers for variable change events now pass along the new value of that variable, so you can more easily get the new value when it has changed. They disabled the ability to move any room with limits v2 enabled. They have bug fixes around room cards in the play highlights page. They fixed a bug that could cause inventions to remain visible in the palette after they were deleted 
fix an issue where players would see the clone button on rooms that they would not be able to clone, and lastly, added Cornelius Cryptid, he is in need of a new monster caretaker, and head over to My Little Monsters if you are interested. Oh, I'm being burned alive, oh my god, and, oh, I burned so much, oh, I'm in the fire, I'm burning, oh my god, I feel so bad, it hurts so much, Jesus, but it would make me feel so much greater if you guys decided to become a channel membership. Oh, oh, uh. But, but, but people that decide to be my channel membership, you know, decide to give me money for perks and stuff like that, one of those perks are being shouted out in all my videos, oh, this fire hurts so much, oh my god, this fire is burning my, my flesh off, uh. Oh. Anyways, these people that are my membership include Gasty, Garlic Bread, Coley, It's Freddy RR, Jack Tutorial, Nat the Pup, Astro Boy, Dozer Blade Cat, BBB, Burning Owl, Bucket Guy, Yo, Jakey, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix, Nine, and Box David. Thank you guys so much for supporting and join the family. I appreciate you, Squidleans, too. And of course, back to, back to the video. Now that's pretty much it with this actual Recom update. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts and some pretty interesting stuff with full body avatars. Jade, the Recom developer, had confirmed that there's a player get microphone volume chip coming soon, and someone had asked if a audio visualizer would be possible soon. Jay said, for your mic audio, yup, and uh, apparently that's good. I'm not a big chip nerd, be sure to let me know if this is great news, and I will look at your guys' comments. And of course, before we're done with this video, I have some full body avatar news. When asked if there's going to be any info on how the face and body shapes update is going on right now, Max Powers, the full body avatar developer, had said, we're not seeing any significant impact to the quality setting we turned up in order to improve how the weight skinning works for the face and body shape customizations. I think we'll be able to make a call on if we can flip on the switch later this week and you'll have more news then. When asked what is meant by impact to the quality setting, Max Powers had said that he's going to get a little technical. They basically changed the way we reshape your head and body by using a technique called tweak bones instead of blend shapes. This will give us a lot of flexibility for exposing how you can all dial in the form and make full body avatar items that work with all different body shapes. But in order for it to really work, we need to update our skin mesh renderers so that we can let more bones affect each vertex, so four instead of two or three. This has a potential impact to compute the cost of animating your avatar so we are running an experiment where some of you are using four bone weighting and some of you are using the default two or three depending on your platform. In practice you shouldn't really notice a difference unless body and face customization was active and we're all just making sure that the extra work doesn't impact the game across all of our player setups. He also confirmed that full body avatars for holotars are coming soon, they're active on it right now. And of course he confirms, and Max Powers does confirm that they will be coming up with a dev block explaining what they're doing with full body avatars with some gifts that will hopefully make it a little bit more clear. Now unfortunately, that's pretty much all our news inside today's Requiem video. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts, what things surprised you, and if you guys want some of these split tests. Oh, I really want to customize my dorm anywhere I go. If you guys want more Requiem news and stuff like that, you guys can check out other Requiem videos that I've made and stuff, and be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on them as well. Well, click em, click em! Anyways, be sure to like the channel and of course subscribe to the video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Urgh!